with complex grammar rules, words being spelt entirely differently than they're spoken, and many words that sound the same but mean totally different things, there is no denying that English is one of the hardest languages to master. The hardest English words are overstuffed with seemingly unnecessary letters, feel like they should be spelt differently, or just don't make sense. As one of the world's most widely spoken languages, English is rich and diverse, but it can be a challenge even to those who grew up with it. Much of this is due to the inconsistency between English spelling and its actual sounds. While other languages like Spanish or Italian generally follow more predictable sound-to-letter pronunciation, English deviates from these rules. This confuses us, especially if we're new to the language. Throughout the history of the English language, it has taken words from various cultures and languages. Around 80% of the English language consists of words from other languages such as Latin, Arabic, and many more. Get ready to be tongue-tied as we discover some of the hardest English words to pronounce. When we talk about something happening after someone's death, we say that it happened posthumously. But it's not posthumous, as it appears. It's pronounced posthumous. Posthumous is an adjective used to indicate events, honors, awards, or artistic works that take place or are released after the death of a person or after the author's demise. This is one of the hardest English words to pronounce. Don't be fooled by its spelling. The pronunciation of this word is nothing like it. How do you pronounce this oddly spelt word? The word is pronounced as segue. It is an adjective that describes a long word or a person who tends to use long and complex words in their speech or writing. It originated from 17th century Latin and originally meant a foot and a half long, a cheeky reference that fits its meaning. One would think it would mean something really mysterious and fascinating. But no, just long. The word is pronounced as sesku pedi liun. When it comes to the hardest English word to pronounce, fo is almost always at the top of the list. This word, which means not real or genuine, looks like it should rhyme with fox, the animal. When pronounced, fo is an adjective of French origin that means false or artificial. The word is pronounced as fo. Onomatopoeia is a literary device that refers to words that imitate or resemble the natural sound associated with the object or action they describe. Examples include boom or buzz. Although the imitated words are usually very short, the word onomatopoeia is weirdly long and difficult to pronounce. Just looking at the word will make you stutter. Pronunciation. The word is pronounced as onomatopoeia. For every Mary Poppins fan, this word should be easy to pronounce. The easiest way to practice this word is either by singing or by breaking it up into small parts. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is a made-up, whimsical, and highly exaggerated word that gained popularity from the 1964 Disney musical film Mary Poppins. The word portrays something extraordinary, fantastic, or beyond ordinary description. It is often associated with joy, excitement, or wonder. The word is pronounced as supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Without any doubt, this is one of the most tongue-twisting, hardest English words to pronounce. It will make you feel small and untalented, or make you laugh until you cry. It is a difficult word, but if you are having difficulties with it, you are definitely not alone. Worcestershire has more than one meaning. It is more commonly known as the county located in the West Midlands region of England. Have you ever found yourself struggling to spell the word nauseous? With so many vowels in one word, it can be tricky what order they go in. And as if the spelling wasn't puzzling enough, the pronunciation isn't any easier. Nauseous is an adjective that describes the feeling of queasiness, mainly related to the stomach. It is frequently employed to express that something induces a feeling of discomfort or sickness. The word is pronounced as nauseous.
There's a reason many meat packages spell it bologna. The word bologna derives from Bologna, Italy, and is one of the hardest English words to pronounce. The correct pronunciation is bologna, but it is common to say baloni. Bologna has more than one meaning. Bologna is a city in Italy renowned for its rich history, architecture, and cuisine. Anemone actually has two meanings. Some may know it as the flower belonging to the buttercup family. They come in different shades of our typically scarlet, crimson, bluish purple, reddish purple, or white. However, it is more commonly known because of sea anemones, an invertebrate sea creature with long, bright clusters of tentacles. It is a predatory marine animal that looks like a colorful flower, but is actually a close relative of corals and jellyfish. The pronunciation of this word rhymes with the enemy and is pronounced unem oni. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe the channel.